Hi, today we're going to review how to enable online ordering via Square Online Store. So to start with, in the Square Dash, scroll down to the Online Store item and click that link. And this will now take us to the start the process of enabling our Square Online Store. So I'm clicking Getting Started. And it's going to ask me, do I want to allow in-store pickup or ship items to the buyer? So I want to allow in-store pickup and toggle that on and hit continue. And then it's going to ask me single ordering page or multi-site page. So let's select multi-site page. And now my store is being built and my items are being synced while my store is being built. And this will now allow me to have all my items sync in real time and also allow me to be able to offer online ordering with pickup. So while now we are now in the Square Online Store Dash. And so the first thing we want to do is take a look at our items. And let's see and make sure that they synced over nicely. So we'll go to our item library and we can we can now just check and look at the items that have been migrated over. Great. So I see all my items are there. And I say done. And now I can see that my items have come over. So um, this is important because I want to double check that all my items are here and available to be on my menu. Not only that, the next item I would want to check is um, categories. So obviously I want to build my menu and so my menu is going to be lunch, sides, and drinks. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click categories. I'm going to say add a category and my first one is going to be lunch menu and I created my title and now I'll click choose items and the burrito bowl and tacos will be my two main items. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now I have my two lunch items there. I'll click save here. And I also have sides. So let's click sides. I'm going to add that as a category. So there's my sides category and then I'll add items. So I'll do guacamole and chips and salsa. Save. Then my final category will be, let's click add category here, drinks. And I'll click choose items from my catalog and horchata. There we go. Great. So I have the basic menu is now available. Now what's nice about Square Line stores, I can also arrange these items. So lunch menu I'll have first, sides, and then drinks. Very good. So now that I've organized my catalog, the next thing I'm going to do is just ensure that my pickup location is set up correctly. So I'll click pickup. I have my address here. I can tell that pickup has been enabled for my single location. I can double check my pickup location settings. So I'm in Chicago. I have my nine to five is available for pickup. So um, that's good. As I scroll down, I can see that my prep time is one hour. So actually I can make that faster. So I can have my orders ready within 15 minutes and I'm going to allow customers to schedule their order as well, which means they could order for tomorrow and they could order in advance two days from now. So that's a really nice feature. So I have my prep time and I'm allowing customers to schedule advance orders. Um, how do I, how do customers pick up their orders? So this allows me to give them instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, Please go to the online order counter and collect your order. Perfect. And then I'm going to mark orders as ready. And this, by marking orders as ready, it sends a signal to those customers that their orders are ready via email and text message. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. So I have my pickup location settings organized. The other nice piece is these global pickup settings right here. So let's take a look at those. There's two. 
large order settings. So this prevents large orders from flowing through the store. Maybe you have a certain limit you have for your customers. In my case, I do. I have maximum you can order via my store is 15 items. So I'm just going to leave a note here um, for online orders above 15 items, please call the store. Very good. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and keep that toggled on. And then I can see that tipping is already toggled on. This will allow my customers to place tips when placing their online orders. So I'll save these settings. Very good. So now we have our items, our categories, and our pickup settings um, set. So I think the last piece we should just double check is our checkout settings. So I'll click on that. And what's nice here is I see I have a really cool tool from Square that allows me to turn orders off if my store gets really busy. So if I toggle this off, it will pause all online orders, allow my kitchen to catch up, and if I toggle it back on, then orders come flowing in again. And earlier I had mentioned text message alerts to customers. Well, if I scroll down here to advanced settings and I click edit, I can enable text messages right here. And as you can see, they're already enabled. It's toggled on for me as a fast casual restaurant. So that's great. So my text message alerts are enabled. So I'm going to click save. And now I'll go ahead and go to the website. And let's take a look on our orders page. Now that we have our item catalog and categories and other items sorted out. So um, one of the first steps here is this is the editor. I'm getting some advanced instructions on how to set up my store. So I do want to sell food for items and pickup. That's clicked on. Show top items on the home page. Collect email addresses, display locations and hours. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And here I can add my logo. So if you have a logo, you can simply upload it here. I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. And then you can select your various color schemes and fonts at this stage too. So I'll go ahead and press finish. Now, at this stage, um, you have three choices for your domain name. If you are using, uh, if you want to register your own domain, you can do it here. You can also leverage a domain name um, you own, or you could select a subdomain from Square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to say my, actually, I will call this Bueno, Buena Suerte Cafe. And we'll use that as our temporary domain. Very good. So it's now confirmed that I have reserved this domain. So now we can focus on building our site. So the first thing I would recommend is we want to really focus on the orders page today. So click on the page home and you'll see here is the order online page. So let's scroll to that page and go ahead and click the link. Now, as you can see, my Buena Suerte Cafe has been migrated over. You can see the categories I created, lunch menus created, the sides are created, and the drinks are created. And so if I look here, I have my lunch menu items, my two sides, and my drinks. Now what's interesting is I also notice that one of my items is missing and my other item is missing. So I'll show you how to add those in one second. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the nav navigation here. So I'm just going to quickly kick click this and I'm going to go ahead and have the title of my site match my business. So I'm just going to click in here and change it to Buena Suerte Cafe. Very good. Okay, and I also need an image. And what's really nice about Square is if I click on this image and I click Add Image, I can either upload my own image. You can also click a image from our free image gallery here. So let me go ahead and click that. And I will type in, uh, let's type in tacos, because I like to promote that on my store. And so great. So I'm going to use that image from Square. Very good. So now I am going to click Done. And I have my image. I have my site title correct. Um, and now 
I have my order online page almost fully configured. There's two last steps we want to do, and then I'm going to show you how to add these remaining items. Uh, the first one I would say is, since this is going to be the primary page we want to use for online ordering, let's click on the setting button. And what's nice is it says, make this my home page. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that because this is going to be the primary page that I want to route all my traffic to, all my customers to for ordering. Okay, so let's go ahead and add those two remaining items. So let's exit the editor. And now this will take me back to my main dashboard and I'll click on items and item library. And this will now pull up my item library and you'll see there's burrito bowl, it's unavailable. And here's Tapo Chico, it's unavailable. So real simply, I'm gonna check those two items and you'll see this bulk edit menu comes up and I can mark them as visible right here. And now they're visible. So now that they're visible, they'll be visible on my website. So I'm going to go back to the website category. I'm going to click Edit Website. And now I'm going to go to my menu. And there is Burrito Bowl. And there is my drinks. Great. So now I have my menu done. And I'm ready to publish my site. So I'm going to go ahead and publish my site. So now the editor is publishing the site. I'm going to click on my URL here. And now I have my online ordering page available for use.